Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Arcane. I am very interested to see uh, pretty much everything that happens next. I'm interested to see what's going to go on with Vi and Caitlyn. Uh, I'm interested to see what's going on with Victor. Uh, and I am, I really want to see the aftermath of the kind of uh, explosion on the bridge. There's a lot that I would like to be addressed. Um, and yeah, I can't wait. Let's get into it. If you want to last in this world, you must learn to be both the fox and the wolf. You'd give me a throne? I will give you the world, child, if you prove you can take it. Oh, I'm not sure that worked out that in that way. What should we do with her? She won't make trouble for us. Strip her of her possessions and send her to the far colonies. Kill her now. Only one must die. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. Whoa! A wolf has no mercy. Wow! Dude. Schedule an audience. Thank you. I'd suggest you prepare accordingly. That's not bad advice. I feel like they have an uphill battle. Their injuries are severe. And before I begin, I must know. Are you prepared to lose her? She won't die, Doctor. She can't. I don't mean to be that person, but that I'm might not be what he means when he says, Are you prepared to lose her? Please I don't know what it This is for your own sanity. Oh! What is he gonna do? I do oh, oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna need us to take a few steps back. A few steps to. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't want her to die, but like, I don't know. I was, uh, I don't know. Okay. Not a problem. Gotta hand it to you, Finn. Every time I think you can't get dumber, you dig a new one. Wow. Let's be plain with it. He's slipping. Ego is one thing, brain's another. Ooh. Okay. He might be biting off one that he can chew. However, his jacket is still amazing. It's still. The fit is good. The fit is good. Oh shit! Your brother's gone. He crossed the wrong man. I was distracted. That's a mistake I can't take back. Oh boy. War is coming. You've let the problems of your undercity fester too long. Piltover isn't like Nopsis. I don't need your guidance. Oh. We'll see. I'm off to sample the local cuisine. Okay. We played a game where we pretended to be bigger and bigger monsters. I get carried away and she gets scared. I pretended to chase my monsters away. Then a real monster showed up. And I just ran away. I left 
left her. Oh boy. Ooh. What have you done? I saved her life. Uh Okay. Oi, watch it for a moment. Hi Dinger. What are you doing? God, you are precious. All right. Lord, these blades seem improperly pitched. You're wrong. <gasps> oh, it's you're designed for the fissures. Air is denser. Okay, you're alive. Oh, okay. Okay, this oh, is cute. Right, lad. It seems I'm unwelcome. <laughs> what is it? We're having the exact same day. <laughs> Aww. More than a sprain. You need medical attention. We may not be novices, but Piltover isn't as helpless as you think. Who said anything about Piltover? A council is the problem. Thank you for your advice, Mrs. Magarda. But I have a city to run. Damn. Wait, but if you don't accept certain realities, I fear you'll end up like General Parlek, slaughtered with your eyes closed. Three of my suppliers have said they intend to really something else. Fall. We need to act before anyone else gets killed. Even though we failed her in countless ways, she risked everything to show me what life is really like down there. People are starving, sick, oh. ravaged by shimmer. Do you know who made them? No. Well, uh, her name is Jinx. This Jinx has the gemstone. But there are good people down there. <laughs> Bad ones too. Even if we wanted to, but they're still good. When do we say enough is enough? Jace, you don't know war. I do. It must be our last resort. Jace, you're emotional right now. What? You're, you feel like you want to negotiate with him? It may be the only way to avoid further bloodshed. You can't talk to him. He that is true. Everything you stand for. Woo. Okay. Didn't go great. Uh. Okay. I can fix this. You can't. This is how things are, how they've always been. I was so stupid to think it could change. What about us? Oil and water. Ah! It's going to be. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours and just forget me. To be fair, I don't even know what they should do. I, I mean, I don't even know. Oh, whoa, 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 Victor! Oh boy. Oh. Chills. Fucking chills. Okay. Okay. Uh He's done. 
I want to make Silco pay. I want in. There is no in. You heard the council. Fuck the council. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god! Just so people notice you when you raise your hand in the boardroom? Someone close to me had a pair of these. You're the first person to cry for when we made it to Topside. This is an unlikely duo, but I don't hate it. So. At all. We got a deal, pretty boy? Uh, I mean, wait. The weight on his shoulders right now, like, I, 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 I don't even know. I don't even know. This is all. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. Oh, good. Oh, boy. This is so bad. I, what am I supposed to say to this? What am I, okay. You know what this is? Let me tell you. Let me tell you what this is. This is the epitome of just watching a car crash before it happens. That's what, that's what this episode is. It's, it's like we're, well, we're all finding out that there's, there's about to be a really bad crash and there's nothing we can do to stop it. You're just helpless on the sidelines. That's basically what this is. Because let me tell you one thing specifically is that like in that the council meeting where we have Vi and uh, Caitlin and and bringing uh, the, uh, as much proof as they can, or whatever, to, 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 to say that Silco is the, the bad seed or whatever. That it's, it, it, you know, even in in that, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know how they should go about it. That's a, that's the thing that I will say is kind of brilliant about this show. Because, like, what do you, do you, you know, um, I don't love the idea of Piltover making weapons. I mean, on, let, just think about it on paper a little bit. Piltover out here making weapons and then just, like, Strike in the Undercity. You've already did enough to the Undercity, let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. So, 
that was where my head was initially going in that meeting. It's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that or whatever. And then, um, you know, then we have, uh, when Vi comes out and she's just like, you're going to try to negotiate with him? It, it, it's absolutely not going to happen. She's right. I don't think there's anything that they could say to Silco to make him give up his dream of, like, obliterating all of them. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, so you're kind of just watching this, like, this is all just going to be really bad. It's all going to be really bad. I don't really know who's going to strike first, but technically you might already think that the attack on the bridge was a strike first. You might not think that, that Piltover just uh, dealing with the Undercity the way that they have is a strike first. I mean, really, I mean, let's, let's be real. Oh, goodness. I don't even, <laughs> but nonetheless, <laughs> we could really uh, go down a rabbit hole with, you know, the cycle of, of violence or the cycle of, of triggering and, and all of that. Um, let me just say, I mean, it, I mean... It just seems like it's about to go down and it's about to be terrible and there's not much we can do to stop it. Um, and there's just, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. And I do, uh, I will say I do feel, uh, I do feel bad for, for Jace because I, I genuinely think he just wants to try to figure out what what's the best thing to do. And I think in this moment, there's not really a right thing to do. You know, he even did what he, I think, th he thought was best and went in with Vi um, and Enforcers, sure, um, and went into this uh, to try to take out, you know, kind of uh, Silco's... Uh, uh, stronghold and that you know um so it's not like a direct complete attack on the undercity per se however a lot of the people working there are, are probably don't have much choice but to work there um and you know we kind of also see getting that kid killed which brought back you know kind of to what mel was saying earlier she's like you don't know war like i know war like you don't want this we need to try any and all peaceful solutions and like all of the you know what I mean like it, it I love I love that within a given moment you're thinking one way and then you're thinking the other and it's like you want them to try to figure out a way to to, to maybe stop Silco or stop well I won't say everybody wants um uh but you know and then you see this kid die, this poor kid that like really probably didn't have much option but to to work that doesn't really know anything else and you see the hurt on Jace's face when that actually transpires. Um, I do want to say that I absolutely loved the fight scene with Jace and Vi. I loved their dynamic and everything like that. They seemed uh, like, a d like a decent fight team. I gotta say. Gotta say. The one thing that uh, also, what I do want to say in general about this show. Now, I don't know much about the game, so I don't really, I can't really speak too much to it. However, uh, well, to be fair, I really don't know anything about the game. But I believe it's a fight, it's a fighting game. And it's not like super story based and this is giving context to the story a little bit. I, you can tell me if I'm wrong with that. But what I do love is that this story is really intricate, really interesting, and... The characters are wonderful and complex. However, the fight scenes, killing it. And if you are a show based on a game that's basically like a fighting game, I don't know if that's the technical term. I'm not, I don't, I, the only game I really play is Crash Bandicoot. And that's it, that's it. So I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable in this area. So if there's another term for it, I apologize. However, um, I, I love the fact that because it's kind of based on this like fighting type style game that the fight scenes are so good. I was thinking that kind of in the last episode with Echo and and Jinx and then here obviously with uh, Vi and, and, and Jace and like everything going on with that. So I did want to mention that um, that is not as you know, 
deep of a discussion of the other things. I guess I talk about a lot of time in this post episode thoughts, but I, I did want to mention that. Um, loved Vi's and Caitlin's. I, I just, I love them. Oh, my whole heart, my whole heart with them. And, you know, and they are just very different people. And, and it's about to get worse because Jinx is, I don't even know what is going on with Jinx right now. Um, but I did, I did want to mention that a uh, very sweet moment with them on the bed and Vi kind of opening up. I have a feeling she has not opened up to... I was going to say anybody, you know, since she's been to prison, but possibly even before that. You know, she really had to kind of hold herself together. Be the responsible one. Be that I'm not sure being vulnerable was really a thing that she tried to do. Maybe a bit with powder, I would say. Um, when the younger uh, and everything. Um, but maybe she doesn't want to be too vulnerable because she feels like she has to take care of it. I don't know. It's just, you know, it's a thing. And, and there is a beautiful comfort there. I love their relationship. I love it so, so much. I really do. And it's just going to get bad. It's just going to get bad. Whatever is going to happen um, between uh, Powder Jinx and, uh, I mean, I, I assume possibly full-on Jinx at this point. I don't know what he did to her. Give me a second. We'll get to it. Uh, but um, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. I'm very nervous that kind of... I'm just nervous. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. I'm nervous. I don't think it's going to go well. I don't think, I don't think it's going to be great. Right guys? Like, I don't think it's going to go well. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Okay. Um, the whole thing with this is not, I don't know. I don't know what happened to Jinx. I do think when he said, are you ready to lose her? I do not believe that he meant for her to die. And I don't think pumping any of that shit, whatever, is going to help her mental stability. That's all I'm going to say about that. I mean, she's been teetering already lately. And we've dived into, we've talked about it, or I've talked about it at length. Um, she's going, she's going through a lot, okay, guys? She's going, she, she's going through a lot. She's confused, and it's just her mental state is not uh, the calmest right now, the best way to put it, right? And then, I'm just going to say this is probably not the best plan. Maybe it is the best plan for them, but it's not the best plan for uh, a lot of people we care about in the show. Namely, I, I will be as bold to say Jinx. I can't talk too much on it because we haven't seen what happens next. But seeing as she's showing up at Caitlyn's place. Gonna be good. I don't think she she's gonna, you know, show up and ask for some tea, you know. I don't. Really, unless just chit chat. I don't really think that's what's gonna happen. Call me judgy. I don't think that's what's gonna happen. Um. Oh my god. Oh okay. Also the the Victor stuff. Oh my god. Is there? There's so much. There's so much shit. There's so much shit. The Victor stuff. Um. Absolutely uh, tragic what happened to Sky, and uh, you can just see the pain on his face. Too. Oh my God, it's the people getting caught in the crossfires. It's kind of interesting that that there was kind of a parallel of what happened with him and and with Jace. That they're kind of uh, doing their own things at the given moment. 
in time and for different reasons or whatever, there there is a little bit of a parallel of seeing somebody kind of innocent get caught in the crossfires of when they were trying to do good and use their knowledge, use the, whatever to try to um, have some sort of progress, right? Oof. I loved the the um, running scene <clears throat> with Victor. I like that he stumbled because he's he's really probably never really run ran before. It was just oh, there's a lot. There was a lot with that. I I, I did love that a lot. Um, oh my god, I Echo's alive. That's another thing that we can talk about. Love that Echo's alive. Love that. Um, and I love uh, him and Heimerdinger together. Another duo I never knew I needed until just watching this. Another, another great duo. <laughs> um, they, they seem to be very uh, good hearted, good intentioned. The fact that Heimerdinger was like, okay, well, if they don't need me up there, maybe I can be of use down here. And um, I hope we see more of their dynamic. I hope we see them together more often and possibly working together more often. They might be a very, very great duo for the Undercity to possibly uh, maybe put their kind of resources, mind, resource, whatever together to... to you know, I really do think it's all going to go to shit before they're able to do that. But in theory, it would be great if they could possibly do that. And Ugh. That would be lovely. I really like the dynamic between the two of them. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. Um, I really think, especially because the finale is next. I'm very aware the finale is next, but I'm, I really think that it's about to all go fucking bonkers bonkers Ooh, i don't know if i'm ready for this um loved the focus on mel in this episode as well i think she's somebody who has been focused on but not a ton like we've known a couple things about her but i love that we got a little bit uh more on her her relationship with her family her relationship with war in general and everything like that. I really love, um, I just, I, I really love uh, that we were able to explore her character even a little bit more. And she seems, in my opinion, to have a decent head on her shoulders when it comes to this stuff. I like that. Um, I, I truly hope that we can kind of see more of her, see her grow as a leader, and possibly, hopefully, make some... I was going to say make some good decisions regarding the possible conflict to come. However, I don't even know what's a good decision. What's it at this point? I don't even know. It's possibly inevitable. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let's, let's just be completely honest and real about this. The Undercity has been treated like less than shit, right? So, as much as you might want peaceful negotiate, <laughs> and, and you know, there's a lot of us that are probably like, yeah, fighting is the answer. Or we did, you know, all that kind of stuff. Y yes, sure, got it. Um, they probably don't want to hear it. <laughs> they probably don't give a shit. I mean, let's not be completely um, blind to the fact that at the beginning of this show was Vi really wanting to kind of to get the get the people across the bridge, and you know she wanted to fight. She wanted to fight for what was right, and so. I'm not kidding when I say it feels like I'm just about to watch like a like a car crash and there's nothing I can do to stop it. There's nothing almost probably any characters can do to stop it. I mean, maybe, 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 but 
It, it doesn't seem like it, not at this point. It seems like everybody's trying to gather ye weapons and let's go. And I don't know that talking down is going to be a th I, I don't know. I don't think that, especially with Silco involved, <laughs> I don't think he's going to be like, oh yeah, you know what? Mm -hmm. And maybe if he wants his own independent, I, be the only thing? I don't know. But then I wouldn't even be super satisfied with that. Um, because I, I, I wouldn't really want the, the people in the, in the Undercity to be subjected to how he has been running things. You know what I mean? Not that really... That, it's not like anybody's really stepping to help them thus far, so, you know, like, I don't even know if that's a good point or not, but, ugh. Yep, just a car crash. Just waiting. Just, just, this could be me in the finale, just sitting here, watching. Just all fuckery happen. Right. This show does something to you, I have to say. Uh, I think that is about it. I'm very nervous for the finale. I just think it's, it's, it's about to implode. Absolutely. Um, all right, uh, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.